Today's recipe is Rogan Josh. It's like an Indian meat curry. For this, we need about 500 grams of cubed mutton. I have washed this with turmeric powder. We also need one teaspoon fennel seed powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. This Kashmiri red chili is not that spicy. It adds color to the dish. We need one teaspoon of ginger paste, one teaspoon of garlic paste, and we need a quarter cup of yogurt, or you can take around 100 grams of yogurt. This recipe is actually divided into two parts. So we'll marinate this mutton with these ingredients. And for the gravy, we need 500 grams of sliced onions. This is around four medium sized onions. We need quarter cup or you can take approximately 100 grams of yogurt. You need a teaspoon of ginger paste, a teaspoon of garlic paste salt as per taste, a teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, two whole bay leaves, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, four cloves, four green cardinums, one black cardinum, half teaspoon of whole peppercorn and a synonym stick. This is around six inches. We also need some room temperature water for the gravy and we will be making this dish in ghee so what we need to do first is we need to marinate this mutton with all these spices and let it marinate for a minimum of half an hour if you marinate it for four hours it will be better but we can also marinate for 30 minutes so let's start marinating this meat with all these spices let's start marinating this mutton with ginger and garlic paste fennel seed powder, turmeric powder and Kashmiri red chilli. We also will use about quarter cup of yogurt or you can say 100 grams, approximately 100 grams. Just mix everything well. And we let this marinate for at least half an hour covered. It's been half an hour since the mutton has been marinating. Now to a warm wok, I'll add around two tablespoons of ghee. You can use normal cooking oil. You can also use butter. You can use olive oil. So it's your choice. When the, meat, uh, when the ghee is melted, I'll add in my marinated meat. I will cook this meat till it's original, till the water from this meat dries out. So I've kept my flame on medium and I will be drying out the water from this meat before going on to making a gravy for the Rogan Josh. Stir it while we are waiting for this water to dry out. Now if you think this is going to take a bit of time, you can always cover the wok with a lid and check every 5 minutes while it's cooking. Let's check on the mutton. Now you can see the water has dried off well and you can see the ghee floating around. At this point, I will remove the mutton from the pan, place it in a bowl and we we'll start making our gravy for the dish. So I'll turn the stove off. I have removed the mutton from the wok and I'll keep this aside. Let's start making the gravy. We'll add add two tablespoons of ghee 
if you want you can use butter or even normal oil but I like using ghee for my cooking so I've got it here the ghee has melted now I'll add in my fennel seeds, bay leaves, cinnamon stick, coriander, uh, sorry, cardamom, cloves, peppercorn. I'll saute this for less than 30 seconds because you don't want the fennel seeds burning. So it's like literally 5 seconds. And now I'll add my sliced onions. We'll fry these onions till they are transparent. Stir the onions occasionally. At this point, I'll also add in the salt. Onions have become translucent. You can see it nicely cooked. Now at this point, I'll add my ginger and garlic paste. Saute it. I'll also add in the Kashmiri red chili powder and the coriander powder. Give it a good stir. Now I'll add in the mutton we sauteed earlier. So this mutton is not cooked, we just want it to dry out its original water, so we did that. Saute the mutton with the onions for at least a minute. And then we'll quickly add our yogurt. and saute it well with everything. My flame is on medium low. I let this saute for at least three to four minutes. It's been three minutes, you can see the ghee floating. At this point of time, I'll add in three cups of room temperature water give it a good stir now there are two options of cooking this gravy one is to continue cooking this gravy in this wok which you need to cover the wok and let it cook on low to medium flame for one hour or till the meat is tender. The second option is which I'm going to do is we can transfer this entire dish to an oven proof baking dish and bake it for one hour 15 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason I prefer baking this dish from this point onwards is because when I'm cooking in a wok I need to continuously stir this every 15 minutes to avoid the meat from sticking to the bottom of my of the pan but when I'm baking it I directly place it in my oven proof baking dish and let it bake for a straight 1 hour 15 minutes without the worry of me coming every 15 minutes to stir my dish. So now I'm waiting for the water to come, the gravy water to come to a boil. When it, once it comes to a boil, I will transfer this to the baking dish and we will bake it. The water has begun to boil. Now at this point, you can cover this whole dish and cook it on low to medium flame for one hour. Or like I'm doing is I'm try I will be transferring this to my baking dish and I will bake this for one hour 15 minutes if you keep your temperature a bit higher it will take a shorter time to cook but I prefer baking this dish at 375 degrees Fahrenheit 
I will transfer it now to my baking dish carefully. Please be very careful because this is extremely hot. I cover this baking dish with an uh, with a foil and seal it well around the edges. And I'll put it for baking. It's been one hour, 15 minutes. I've just removed this mutton rogan josh or the Indian mutton curry from my oven. Please be very careful while removing this foil because it's very hot. Uh, the dish is still hot and you can see the steam is escaping once you open it. This mutton rogan josh is ready. Now we'll see if the mutton has cooked well and you can see it's cooked amazingly well, soft and tender. I will transfer this to a serving bowl. Mutton Rogan Josh is ready to enjoy with naans or zira rice. To make the zira rice, please click on the link mentioned in my description box below. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, please click on the bell icon for notification for my latest videos. Thank you for watching.